it has come to my attention that Dr. Brown has challenged Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi to engage him in a public debate. In this challenge, Dr. Brown tells his audience that he has nothing to hide and that he's willing to debate Rabbi Mizrahi in any venue. I am here to set the record straight. The Jewish community has nothing to hide. The Jewish community has laid all of its cards on the table. Dr. Brown took the time and the effort to write a five-volume series entitled Answering Jewish Objections to Jesus. The Jewish community took the time and the effort to write a response to that five-volume series. In 2007, I published Contra Brown, in which I addressed the main arguments of the first four volumes of his series. In 2010, when he published his fifth volume, I wrote The Elephant and the Suit, in which I challenge the general arguments, the central arguments of all five volumes. I point out in these two articles how Dr. Brown has failed to address some of the core Jewish objections against Christianity. I also point out how some of Dr. Brown's central arguments contradict each other. And I also point out how Dr. Brown has seriously misrepresented the Jewish position on some of the core issues. This was followed by Supplement to Contra Brown. In Supplement to Contra Brown, I go through the five volume series page by page and I address every argument that Dr. Brown raises against Judaism. You can find these articles on my blog. Google the number 1000 followed by the word verses and you will find my blog. It's called 1000 Verses. Since then I have addressed many issues that Dr. Brown has raised on his radio show. You will find these on my blog under the category Responds to the Line of Fire. In 2014, Dr. Brown came out with a book, The Real Kosher Jesus. I responded with Kosher Reality. I am satisfied to say that the Jewish community has done its duty towards the truth seeker. We have nothing to hide. We have laid all of our cards out onto the table for everyone to read, to study, and to analyze. Many people have taken this path. They have studied, they have read, and they have turned their hearts towards the God of Israel. As of yet, Dr. Brown has not responded to any of my articles. If Dr. Brown has nothing to hide and he feels that he has laid all of his cards out on, on the table, I am more than satisfied to let things stand as they are. Should Dr. Brown come out with any new argument, any new information, I would invite him to publicize it. I would invite him to present it in a public format, be it his radio show, a, a written article, a video presentation, and if he should choose to do so, it will be our duty to respond. But until he does so, all the cards are on the table. If you have questions, if you are confused, I encourage you, do not take me on my word. I encourage you to study for yourself. Read the articles, read the arguments, read the opposing arguments, and come to your own conclusion. I can't make the decision for you. Dr. Brown cannot make the decision for you. You have to make the decision for yourself. You will have to live with the decision. All of the cards are on the table. Study those cards, and may the God of truth be with you every step of the way.